Man, if you're the type to split hairs, because sometimes you will have to split hairs, but if you're the type that enjoys splitting hairs and really getting down and dirty, getting grimy, getting into the details, plotting a course, sticking with it, and knowing when and how to improvise. And again, this will come naturally to some, but for the most part, it comes with experience. If you're the type that enjoys splitting hairs, fam, I got some news for you. Sooner or later, you or someone in your circle is going to have to split wigs. Is going to have to split proverbial proverbial wigs and somebody's career and somebody's image. Damn near end somebody's entire livelihood. Why? Because that's what it takes to be a professional. You have to be diplomatic, sure. You have to be courteous, sure. But you can't be a pushover. There are some instances, and and, and these memes will come up every now and then. Like, don't argue with the ignorant person because they will drag you down to their level and beat you with their experience. Hey, well, with time, with time and with experience, with the talent, with the ability, with the know-how of how to do it, you will not only know when to pick and choose your battles, but the battles you pick up might seem one-sided, might seem already biased and skewed in favor of the of your opposition, in favor of something that just isn't righteous in favor of an unrighteous outcome. But with time, you have to know how to hustle. You will learn and be able to apply finesse. Be able to learn and use finesse in order to come out on top. And yeah, sometimes it uh, sometimes it gets manual. Sometimes it is laborious. Sometimes it is emotional. Sometimes it's uh, it's high stakes, so to speak. But it doesn't mean that you should just drop off. I mean, if you could call in reinforcements, if you could call in support, then by all means, don't don't hesitate to use those resources available to you. But A, never get caught lacking. And B, never be unprepared. Never be lacking the tools. And never be unprepared to just pop off. To jump off. Why? Because if you're seen as easy prey by someone who's much more prepared and ready to die on the hill of their, let's say, unsound or unrighteous position you have you likewise have to be ready to do the same right ultimately push comes to shove you have to know when to fold who (laughs) i mean you you never want to fucking fold them you never want to bow out At the end of the day, one ought to seek that that satisfaction, that that pleasure that came from being analytical, from from splitting hairs. You've got to know how to transfer, how to uh, how to transpose that pleasure of being al- analytical, being logical being tactful, being diplomatic and converting it into something of value, converting it into something tangible, something that is manifestly righteous. 
And again, that comes with some time. That that comes with experience. And some will develop the talent. Some will have the talent to develop the ability. It comes more naturally to some than others. That faculty to be able to take on pressure, to be able to uh, resist heat, withstand heat, intense situ in intensive situations. Let's put it that way. Let's frame it that way. To be able to withstand the heat that comes from being in the middle of intensive situations. You get that through practice. You get that through practice and you can you can start small. Start small. I mean I know from experience, you don't you don't want to you don't want to bite off more than you can chew, obviously, because in corporate, what you bite off, you will have to chew. And if you break your jaw doing it, nobody's going to lend you a hand unless unless you have developed some extraordinary report, some extraordinary reputation that puts you uh, ahead above everyone else. Then someone might stick their own neck out for you, vouch for you, validate you, legitimize you, put in work for you. Otherwise, you're putting in work your damn self. Or you might do it for somebody else. But always when that cause is righteous. Always when... When it's meant to be. Sometimes it it isn't enough to be right. Sometimes you have to be absolute. Sometimes you, you you can't you cannot be satisfied. Sometimes a situation cannot be resolved with one person just being right and the other just walking away. Sometimes the message has to be absolute. And it'll be situational. It'll be contextual. Again, you will be splitting hairs. You you will be left wondering. Is this a moment? One that calls for absolute, for ultimate action, for ultimate action. The last resort. Your first choice, but your last resort. You'll find that one in season three. Season 3 of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. Your first choice, but your last resort. And that is to go weapons free. That takes very decisive judgment. You have to be absolutely right in what you are doing. You don't want to, I mean, you would not want to be the one to set precedent, but if the precedent is already there and it's objective, it's empirical, and it's righteous, son, what are you waiting for? Daughter, do the damn thing. Otherwise, you're, you're leaving things to fate that actually don't have any uncertainty to them. What the fuck does that get you? Mm. 
that leaves others splitting hair in the future. Splitting hairs. This is not something folks want to be doing. Right? I mean, if we're talking about human nature, I think humans, by and large, people, by and large, enjoy the easy, the easy routes, the high road. And by mean, by what I mean, and what I mean by enjoy them is, is, uh, take pleasure and, and, and find fulfillment and, and satisfaction in items that are easy, that are no-brainers, that are supposed to be common sense. And the shit isn't that common anymore. You know this. I know this. But it's supposed to be an easy choice to make. It's supposed to be a right and a wrong. Very much binary. If you have an option between the right or wrong choice, and you know what the fuck right and wrong means, why would you not pick the right one every time? What in your right mind would make you pick wrong? But that starts with us every day inside of corporate and out. Doing what's right. I mean, that that part is just called having integrity. That part is just called being honorable. That part is called demanding respect. And that's simultaneous to giving it. Why? Because you're respecting other people's abilities to process right and wrong. You're making it easier for them with the expectation that they also make life easier for you. And then together, in tandem, we alleviate this human condition of eternal struggle. Perpetual struggle. I mean, it ain't even that bad, right? We got it better than most. Supposedly. At the end of the day, we do have it better than most. I mean, shit. Once you wake up to corporate, once you're aware of what corporate Once you can see corporate around you and you recognize that you yourself are just another piece to the system. And the system is fluid. It it, it isn't it is it isn't even as stable as we would like to like it to be. It isn't a fucking machine. I mean, some folks move mechanically and they might come off as NPCs, but that's again because they lack creativity. They've fallen into a mode of being that has become easy for them or that they derive pleasure from. And in doing so, they've created, they've they've done their own work, they've done their own research, and sometimes they aren't open to having their views challenged. Sometimes they aren't open to considering a new viewpoint, to considering evidence, even when it is supremely empirical, even when it is righteous, even when it is objective, even when it is right. And when that happens, you got to pick and choose your battles, man. You do have to pick and choose your battles. That becomes someone else's... uh, that should become your project. <laughs> and it starts, yeah, it starts very individualistic. Very, very individualistically. Very personally. And that's how you never miss. That is how you never miss. 
these motherfuckers out here that that spray and pray use scatter guns and, and shotguns or whatever uh, i.e. politicians i.e. gangbangers i.e. They, they just use a, a uniform message or bang colors they aren't really i mean they're, they're appealing to the masses in a sense that they're doing a lot of the thinking and trying to sell you trying to hustle you and finesse you on an idea that appears like a no-brainer that appears like common sense they are trying to appeal to your sense of honor your sense of integrity But for the most part, I mean, people should be able to see right through it. But then there are those that lack the kind of critical thinking that's required to split hairs. And if they can't split hairs, I mean, you could talk. It, it's it's the opposite of of not being able to split hairs and not wanting to split hairs so like they may, they may not be set in their ways but for lack of a better word they're like a school of fish and these motherfuckers who become public facing are using nets are using uh i mean short of short of defining what propaganda is yeah they're essentially using wide cast broadcast messages that are cut out of society so crudely that just because they make a semblance of sense they, they, they get to go places they get to be people they become made I mean that's how you become made as a politician or a gang member as a fucking as an organized crime wise guy or organized crime guy fucking anyways proof of life today is wednesday february 16th 2021 no scratch that wednesday february 16 2022 i'm your host alex this is Season 4, episode 22 of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. By now, the Instagram page may be down, but more than likely still shadow banned. We visit it every now and then just to interact with the community and leave commentary. Poke and prod, ask questions. Even then, we're trying to build a rapport, some, some kind of image, but again, it's been very particularized interactions being very personal individual one-on-one -on -one. so we're not able to broadcast something wide besides this podcast just yet but you got to remain hopeful you got to pick and choose your battles in the meantime until the right one pops up and becomes your project you already have a project and it's to do work it's to build, it's to grow, it's to become better. Build back better. Get the fuck out of here, man. Have a nice weekend.